Hello everybody, a little special thing on YouTube to comment on what is going on with the Conservative Leadership Challenge. I think they all look a bit dull compared with Boris, but there we are. Uh, they wanted Boris out and so now they've got to pick someone else. Funny, isn't it? It's like getting rid of me, Freddie Starr and, uh, and Chubby Brown and putting on Jimmy Carr. Sorry, Jimmy. But you know what I mean. Right, before we get going, here's a little thing. Look, I go out on tour again. I'm starting to go and I'm getting nervous already about getting, getting it all together. Back on stage this Thursday at the Winter Gardens in Margate. It'll be the last time I play it. It's probably the last time anyone will play it for a while because they're closing it down to do I don't know what. The people of Margate are up in arms. It's a, a lovely old theatre. Yes, it's a bit of a funny shape and yes, it's old fashioned, but people love it. They love it. Down to Margate. That's where we want to go. And everyone that turns up will get one of these. Look, a free brochure with all stuff in it. And there's a great picture of my favourite comedian. Not him, him. There you go. So everyone gets a free one of these when they turn up. Yes, we're giving stuff away because life is so good, isn't it? I think we're getting in the doldrums a little bit thinking oh there's a recession it's too hot there's convids there's god knows what there's war in russia boris is doing loop the loop in typhoons while we're sinking on the conservative titanic dear oh dear oh dear anyway so i'm in margate uh, this thursday thursday the 20 whatever what is it jake 22nd or, or anyway but the Friday I've got to drive down to Babacombe fantastic little theatre on the seafront there in Babacombe so that's my first two I'm taking miles with me as a bit of a safety net so good luck so I want to tell you a couple of things that's going on at the moment but I looked at the news this morning I had to laugh the University of Pennsylvania that's in America of course Pennsylvania 65,000 65 oh 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 Glenn Miller right they have nominated for Woman of the Year, Leah Thomas. Now, you might not know who Leah Thomas is. She used to be a he, and she is that swimmer that could beat Flipper in a 100-yard dash. Okay, and she's been nominated as Woman of the Year. Of course, all the other uh, proper women, I shouldn't say proper women, all the old-fashioned women, the ones without cocks, as our friend uh, would say, Ricky would say, uh, the, the women without cocks. Uh, are up in arms about it. they're up in cocks about it and so it's a, a bit of a t and of course this university of pennsylvania where i think america and all those students and, and this is where woke came from now it says in their rules that the other nominee there's two nominees for this category and the other one must be of uh, bame origin it must be a person of color or dis or or disabled even but you know I think that, yes, so, so there you go. Talking of disabled, um, they haven't been getting a look in lately with all this trans stuff. I still think there's not enough done for the disabled and I still think that uh, the disabled, a lot of the disabled are only disabled because we think they're disabled. There are a lot of the disabled people who are able-bodied in their mind and they want to do the same things as us. Having said that, I think it's out of order that the England women's football team do not have enough disabled people in there. I think that's right, or, uh, you know, might as well go on about it. Have you seen the uh, the French football team? Have you seen the four black girls in the British Olympic sprint team? Well, why are they all black? Uh, possibly because they're the best at it. Try that. And uh, talking of transvestments uh, here, here, let's go back to this Leah Thomas, who used to be a man, is now a girl breaking all the records. As I said, is faster than a tigerfish torpedo in the water. Uh, there's a person called Demi Minor. OK, this is in the paper today. I've got to read you this because it just it jumped out at me. Demi is doing 30 years. Demi Minor is a, a female of colour. Uh, 30 years for manslaughter. She's a trans woman. Demi is a trans woman who, of course, as per her rights, was put into a women's prison. There you go. And promptly got two of the other prisoners pregnant. Them old fashioned women with no cocks. Anyway. I wonder what Penny Morden would say about that. Are you watching this conservative leadership race? Is it like changing debt chairs on the Titanic? I think it is. Why kick out your best player just because he didn't tick the right boxes or because you're listening to Barney Rubble, that idiot on there, uh, the Labour, I can't even, and her ginger railings, leg up. Yeah, it's all gone mental. Um, talk about shoot yourself in the foot. So now we've got down to the last five in this damp squid and no one seems to be asking this question. Can the Conservative Party elect a person of colour to be the leader and Prime Minister of this country? No one seems to want to ask that. 
Rishi, okay, he's uh, Indian descent, isn't he? I don't know where he was born, doesn't matter, but he looks like an Asian uh, and he is of Asian ascent. And I think he's quite brilliant. Whether he's right enough for this, he's a cross between a Vulcan and, and Roland Rat. We know that. Um, that's what he looks like. He talks quite well, uh, but I don't know. He was Chancellor. Everyone loved him when he was giving money away. Now they're all turning against him because he was, yes, you've guessed it, uh, giving money away. So let's talk about could we have a woman lead the uh, Conservative Party and lead the country? Well, there's three of them in the lineup, isn't there? Let me talk about Penny Morden. She'd have something to say about that trans swimmer, wouldn't she? Uh, and that trans person in prison that's got two other uh, prisoners, old fashioned women, pregnant. Penny Morden, she pulled the wool over my eyes and I thought she'd be really, really good. She goes on about being in the Royal Navy. Well, she's an honorary captain and she claims to be a Royal Navy reservist. But according to naval uh, senior officers and naval people I've spoke to, it seems that she's never been a paid reservist and it's not really been a job. She certainly hasn't been to battle and she hasn't uh, done a lot of stuff. But she does like to bang on about it and wear her uniform in public. So let's just, uh, let's have a little look at her. Yes, one needs to ask the question if she plays hockey, but no one uh, has asked that question yet. Not that it matters, of course. Um, I wonder what she'd have to say about the trans views on everything. She, she seems a bit woke to me. She was gonna get my uh, woke, but now a, a twin brother. She has a twin brother and he is uh, not only gay, but he's an activist in the LGBT uh, situation. Uh, type stuff. And she also got in the shit a while ago with uh, with members of Parliament because she had a meeting with a representative of an organisation in this country whose deputy director, I think it's called the British Muslim Council, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. The deputy director general apparently uh, called for attacks on Royal Navy ships. Well, if she's a Royal Navy reservist, she's certainly shot herself in the foot. I, I don't think those programmes are very good. Did you watch it? It's not Love Island and it's not, you know, 15 to 1 where they're all lined up and they're all doing a, hello, I'm Richie, vote for me. How sick is this? I just think it's awful and cringy. I, I, no wonder they've pulled out. And I think Rishi has pulled out tonight. As I say, he's going to a Roland Rat uh, tribute contest. And I think Liz Truss has pulled out as well because she's had to go to the dentist to have a wisdom tooth put in. I had uh, lunch with uh, Liz Trust once in a little restaurant with, with a chaperone MP with us, of course. And, uh, and she went on about how she didn't think that uh, veterans, I was running care after combat at the time, deserved any other treatment more than anybody else. Uh, and a view shared by Colin Back, a great veteran um, worker from Project Nova. Uh, and, and he says, the same that Liz Trust doesn't seem to care too much about that. She's being sponsored by uh, by a few people, but I met her and mm, okay, let's move on from that. So let's go to Tommy Two Gun Tat. Okay, Tommy Two Gun Tat. He's playing on the thing that he was an army officer, and he keeps on about this. And you can spy this. He was a reservist, and yes, he he did get injured out there, and he has fought in battle, unlike Penny Morden. So credit to him for that for doing that but he does bang on about it a bit. And when he says to serve and to lead, I want to serve to lead. Serve to lead is the motto that goes underneath the crest of the, um, the Army Officers College down at Sandhurst. Sandhurst Military College to serve to lead. Which brings me to a couple of people. Rishi, very good, he'd be the favorite. Are we ready? Tom and Tugendat. Never done a real job before. Penny Morden, you know, has a, a bit of a self-inflated CV for me. Liz Truss, nothing going on whatsoever. Fucking never. First time I've ever agreed with the Russians. And then which brings us to the other person of colour. Are we ready to have a Nigerian-born person head the Conservative Party? Why is it, to my mind, she is the only one that has proper Conservative values? I might be a bit biased. Some people say I'm racist and I don't really care about that. I do know, though, that uh, my nephew is a Nigerian prince who's just a fantastic square, what's the word I'm looking for? Down to earth person He's great to everybody. And so that's my link to Nigeria. I'd like to have a link to Nigeria by supporting Kemi. 
So I am with Kemi. If she's got any chance, and if any of you out there have got the guts to do it, you lobby whoever you can and write to whoever you can. Let's get this girl's name up in lights. She might be just the one we need. All right, I'll see you tomorrow on here and also uh, later on uh, tomorrow evening on Ustream when I can say what I really want to say. Okay then, here's a little clip of something coming your way on Ustream soon. I'm very proud of this. Hello children, it's Mucky Panto time. What's a penis? It's like a brick, only it's smaller. <laughs> it's good to be the sheriff. I fucking hate this joke. You tie me to the bed and tickle me with a feather. Please! Or I'll blow your balls off. Oh. Only been a girl five minutes and already I've got thrush. What's a blow job? Six pound fifty. Ooh! What is it? How do you stop a girl giving you a blowjob? Marry her! Coming soon on Ustream. Check it out. It's Boobs in the Wood.